Hi, uh, this tutorial I will cover uh, reactor pattern implementation. Uh, before watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, reactor pattern introduction. Uh, then come and watch this video so that you will understand uh, this uh, implementation tutorial uh, clearly. Uh, <coughs> here you can see uh, the important components which are involved in uh, reactor pattern. First one is uh, reactor, the second one is event handler, the third one is synchronous event uh, demultiplexer. So you can see this event handler is an interface. It has uh, two methods, handle event and get handle. So this interface is implemented by uh, two concrete uh, event handlers, event handler uh, A and event handler B. So it provides implementation of handle event method and get handle method. And this uh, even handler A and even handler B, we have to register in the reactor uh, uh, object. Okay, so there is a register handler method. So uh, the application has to call this method to register this even handler A and even handler B. Suppose uh, if you want to remove the even handlers, uh, then we can uh, call this remove handler method so that we can uh, remove this uh, event handler from the uh, reactor okay and uh, this reactor uh, class which uses synchronous uh, event demultiplexer okay so whenever there are lot of events comes to the application this uh, synchronous event uh, demultiplexer which will uh, uh, notify to the reactor then this uh, reactor what it will do is based on the event type uh, it will identify which event handler can handle the event. So in this case, there are two event handlers, are the event handler A and event handler B. So once uh, synchronous event demultiplexer notify uh, event to the reactor, so it will identify that particular event handler can be handled by event handler A or event handler B. Suppose it identify uh, that particular event can handle by event handler A, then it will send the event to event handler yeah. so in this way this whole thing will work okay and uh, and uh, and handles is nothing but uh, which identify resources that are managed by operating system uh, like uh, network connections uh, open files and synchronization objects and uh, this is about uh, reactor pattern implementation and uh, thanks for watching bye